Hey, what is up, fellow cynics? So a few months back, I made a video that was showing how to get custom songs on Beat Saber, and Beat Saber had an update, and basically it stopped all custom songs and mods from working. So in this video today, I'm gonna be showing you guys actually how to downgrade Beat Saber from the current version, which is 1.15, down to the 1.13.2, which will, in fact, get your custom songs working once again. So a couple things before we start. First off, you will need to have side quests set up already which is going to allow you to actually mod Beat Saber. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm gonna post a link down in the description to a video showing how to actually set that up. And then in this video, I'm also not gonna show you how to actually get the custom songs onto Beat Saber. Since I already have a video showing that, I am just showing you how to downgrade it to the version that you need to get the custom songs to actually work. So I will also be linking my video on how to get the custom songs in the description down below so check that out after we're done here and without further ado let's begin okay all right everybody so first things first we are going to want to make sure that we are on the newest version of beat saber so you're going to put your oculus on load up beat saber and then right in the main menu you can actually just look down you're going to see a pair of footsteps and then in the bottom right here it's going to tell you what version of beat saber that you are on and to get this to work, you do have to be at least on version 1.14.0 or newer. Once we have confirmed that, we are now going to hop onto our computers and go to bslegacy.com. And once we are there, just scroll down a little bit and you're going to see Oculus Quest Downgrade Utilities. So drop that down and then you have a couple options. You can either use the Downgrade Utility for Mac or Windows. So whatever kind of computer you have, click that. Once that is completed, it's gonna take you over to the option to download it right here. So hit download. Now, this did take a little bit of time for me, so if it is taking a little while, don't worry. Once that finishes downloading, you're gonna click on the folder on the bottom left here, and then you're gonna to want to extract the folder. Then once that pops up, you're gonna click BS version changer. So double click that. And if your Windows is like mine, you're gonna have this basically Windows Defender pop up. Uh, you're just gonna, hit, gonna wanna hit more info and hit run anyway. And that is going to pop up this Quest BR version changer up on the screen here. And we are not gonna use this quite yet. So make sure not to close out of it, but Basically our next step is gonna to be to get this installation path right here. Now we are gonna to wanna to turn on our Oculus Quest and plug it into our computer and open up side quest. And then on the top right here, you're gonna see this currently installed apps button. So click on that and you're gonna see that Beat Saber is gonna be in this list. So our first step is to click on the gear here and back up the game data. We'll say all tasks complete on the bottom when that's done. And then we're gonna click on the gear once more hit backup APK file, and then click on the gear again, and we're gonna hit uninstall app. And click on the gear one last time here, and then we are gonna hit open backups. So that's gonna bring you here, and you're gonna to wanna to hit APKs. And then this .apk folder here, you're gonna to want to rename it to beat saber with a space in between, and then make sure that the .apk is still there. And then once you are here, you're gonna click on the bar up here that's gonna actually show the installation path that we're gonna need. So copy that. And then that is where we are going to go back to the Quest BS version changer and paste that installation path into here. And then it's gonna say valid Beat Saber backup detected, ready to patch. So at any point throughout this, if this isn't popping up for you, it, it either means you are not on the newest version of Beat Saber that you need to be, or at least on 1.14 or newer. Otherwise, if you have any additional questions, you can go check out the Beat Saber Legacy Discord, and they're gonna be more than happy to help with any questions you might have on this process. But as long as you have valid Beat Saber backup detected, ready to patch, you can hit start on the bottom left, and it is going to extract the path for you. And boom, it says done right there. Now, if you wanna make sure that this actually worked, you can pop this folder back up where we had the Beat Saber APK, and you can right click it and hit properties. The size should be 474 megabytes and it should be 497, 495, 067 bytes. So I'll hit okay there. 
Now we're gonna open side quest back up. We're gonna bring this folder back up with the APK file. And then you are going to drag this APK file to the top left here. It's gonna pop up drop file here. Once you do that, once again, the green bar at the bottom will let you know when that is completed. All right, this is all tasks complete. So just go back to the currently installed apps if you're still not on there and you should be able to refresh and see that Beat Saber is back on the list. All right, so the next step is to go launch Beat Saber now on your Oculus Quest. And when you do click on it, it's gonna ask if you want to update it or it's gonna say that there's an update available. It is important that you just hit launch anyways. Uh, do not do the update, otherwise it's basically gonna undo that entire process we just went through. And then just take a look at the footprints again on the bottom right here. It should now say that you're on version 1.13.2 and you should now be able to go check out my video showing how to mod Beat Saber to get those custom songs. And it should work just as it originally did before the update happened. And I will link that video on the screen right now and I will also put a link to it down below in the description. Other than that, have fun playing custom songs on Beat Saber. And remember, if you wanna see anything from tech games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.